just on six. What a lineup with Anders Johnson, the winner of that big German Grand Prix last year, and Freddie Lindgren on the outside. But Gollum is on the inside gate this time. I'll tell you what, the, I'm so, sorry, Tony, but what an atmosphere in the stadium. You can cut it with a knife. Golub on the inside, the number one man in the world at the moment. Nicky Pedersen chasing him down, finishing second in the opening Grand Prix. A fabulous heat in prospect. Jonsson also in great form. Third place out last time. Can he pick up there? But certainly the two big guns on the inside. What a heat in prospect. I was going to say sit back and enjoy it with us, but you'll be on the edge of your seats. Thomas oh, yeah. doesn't make it away for the tapes, so he's got to produce something spectacular. The man in blue, Nicky Pedersen, does. Golub coming up the inside. In yellow coming right through, Freddie Lindgren, a courageous move by him, the man in white, Andreas Johnson, is at the back, but any one of these four could win this one. Yeah, Freddie Lindgren there is a bit of a spoiler, he's got in the way, Gollum's had a, been balked on that opening lap, great start from Nicky Pedersen, all credit to him, he fired out of gate two on his spare bike and hits the front, Lindgren going great guns in second spot, Gollum having to work hard to keep Johnson at bay for third place. Well, Gollum's all over the track, and I don't think he's going to make it at first this time and maintain his unbeaten record, but Nicky Pedersen has stormed back, and these points will be enough to take Nicky Pedersen into the semi-finals. Of that, there is no doubt. Pedersen in blue, in front of Lindgren in yellow, and now on the back, Gollum is being challenged up the inside by Andreas Johnson, and Gollum could finish last. That's quite a battle. It's an important place at the back here. Yeah, gets it. That was a smashing ride from the world champion, Nicky Pedersen, showing a lot of class there. Frustrated after his third ride, just the third place. But there, against tough opposition, really shows his credentials. And that's why he's world champion. Well, at the moment, it's going to be uh, Greg Hancock in his final ride. will need three points for a maximum. He's now the only man that can get this. There, the heat winner, Nicky Pedersen. Those three points take Nicky Pedersen on to nine and into the semi-finals. Freddie Lindgren's two give him five and hope if he wins his last ride. Thomas Gollum has a single point there, moves on to ten. Andreas Johnson fails to score and stays on seven. He'll be biting his nails a little bit. Well, look at Pedersen there, the determination on his face, a smile as well. He came good when the chips were down, smashing start from him. Look, the bike fired.